Hey everybody, Scott Spritzer here, DocSports.com. Our update for Friday, April 5th, 2019. Got a free pick coming up in just a moment. First, a quick note uh, before we get started. If you've yet to become a member over at DocSports.com, it's a real cool way uh, to give it a trial run. You click on the link below the video, get yourself set up for a free $60 account, which can be used on any of my daily packages or anybody else for that matter over at DocSports.com. And again, it's a free $60 account. All you got to do to get started is click on the link below this video. Uh, listen, what we got going on for Friday, we've got some NBA, we've got some Major League Baseball, three plays in fact, we'll get to all that in a moment. We didn't play uh, the NBA last night, we passed the short card, so we'll head into Friday, 17-4 and four, our last 21, that's 81% against the spread, and we're up over $4,100 in the NBA during the current 17-4 and four run. Got a big six-star play, six-unit play going in Friday's basketball. It is an underdog, it's a high-value underdog. And uh, we think it's a dog that's got a great shot to win the game that they're in outright. And again, it's available right now over at DocSports.com. Actually, on Friday morning, it'll be available if you're watching this early, 1 p.m. Eastern, 10 a.m. Pacific time. You'll be able to go grab that NBA play for Friday. Again, a big six-unit play on Friday. Don't miss out on that. We look to extend our run to 18-4 and four, red hot as we inch closer uh, to the postseason. We're going to pass in the NHL last night a winner. Uh, with the Colorado Avalanche, got the win in overtime, 92-72 and 72 with our last 164 in hockey, and we don't lay big prices. Uh, but by the way, we will pass Friday's cards, a couple of games in Friday's NHL. We've decided to take a pass here. Uh, the teams are down to their final game or two. Playoffs are all set, so uh, there's a good chance we won't have any more NHL until uh, we get to the playoffs where we've excelled for most of the last two decades. So more on that uh, likely in a couple of days. Uh, we're going to pass the DePaul-South Florida game, not even an opinion, I guess a slight, slight opinion uh, on the under. We gave out the over on the videos the other night. It went well over the total even before uh, the teams got to overtime, but we're going to pass this one. I guess if I had to make a play, I would lean towards the under in this deciding game uh, in this particular tournament. DePaul being a short favorite, the total right around 145, 45 and a half in that neighborhood against South Florida, but no play for us in college basketball. So what we have is NBA, six-unit play. That's the premium big play for Friday. We've also got three plays in Major League Baseball, three-play trifecta, if you will. Uh, and that includes both day and night action on Friday. Three-play trifecta, we look to get to 48 and 29 with our last 77 baseball releases going back to last season. Those will be available at 11.30 a.m. Eastern, 8.30 a.m. Pacific on FridayNotSports.com. A couple of quick notes for the weekend. I've been asked... Uh, with some DMs over on Twitter. When is NASCAR going to be available? I'll tell you what, we'll have those up no later than 11 p.m. Eastern, 8 p.m. Pacific on Saturday night for Sunday's race at Bristol. We don't want to get them out too early because you got to see if anybody's blown an engine in practice and qualifying, all that good stuff. So again, it will be at the latest 11 p.m. Eastern, Saturday, 8 p.m. Pacific for Sunday's next NASCAR race at Bristol. Maybe a little bit earlier than that, but definitely no later than 11 p.m. Eastern. And, uh, also, we've had this incredible run in the fight game, UFC, <clears throat> excuse me, including hitting a big seven-unit play with the underdog, the Karate Hottie, last weekend. Uh, but what we're going to do is not have a card, unfortunately, this weekend. So our next picks for the UFC will go next week on Saturday. We'll have some UFC action on April 13th. But that's everything, as I've been asked uh, every night, basically, on Twitter, what's coming up the next day for those who don't get a chance to watch all the videos and and there's the plan for Friday and the weekend ahead. We will be in college basketball Final Four action, and we will have our stuff posted by Saturday morning, 11.30 a.m. Eastern, 8.30 a.m. Pacific time. Hey, listen, I hope you got a chance to watch the video from yesterday. If you didn't, go ahead and give it a watch because I kind of tell what I look for when it comes to uh, handicapping NFL wins totals. We've got some up from CG Sportsbooks. Not going to rehash it, uh, but if you missed it, go back and check out Thursday's video on how we approach handicapping NFL wins totals for an upcoming season. We've had great success. And as you saw, my first season at DocSports.com, yet another huge college football and NFL season. We were number one over at DocSports.com. So be sure to check out that video uh, if you're in NFL wins totals, totals and want to get a, a look, I guess an early look, you could say, on how I go about handicapping those. Uh, for now, let's get – and by the way, we will have the Final Four betting update uh, updated the report for Saturday as far as where the bets are, sharp and public. Uh, as of right now, nothing much has changed since we talked about it on yesterday. You still got a lot of the public at Auburn, kind of a split on Texas Tech 
and Michigan. More on that on tomorrow's video. All right, let's get to uh, our free pick four on uh, Friday. It's an afternoon game, actually, a total. Playing the under between Tampa Bay and San Francisco. You look at these two bullpens, both have been pretty hot so far. Uh, Tampa, number one ERA out of the pen, 064. San Francisco, about a 2.5, a little bit higher than that, uh, 2.6-ish ERA out of the pen. So both pens have done their job. Uh, when they've come in to take over for starters. And as far as the offense is concerned, I mean, Tampa Bay is off to a 5-2 and two start because of pitching. You know, they're only averaging about three runs per game. San Francisco only plating about two and a half runs per game. Even more importantly, both teams are well down the list in Major League Baseball in the bottom third in OBP and in team batting average. Total seven, we like it to stay under our free pick for Friday afternoon. Tampa Bay, San Francisco under the total. And uh, by the way, the pitching matchup there is going to be Glass now and Rodriguez. We think both starters are capable of going well into this game. And I just mentioned the pins, how good they've been. I think they'll fare well with these two offenses not hitting real well right now to start the season. Under Tampa Bay, San Francisco. Again, don't forget about Friday's card. Again, I can't stress enough how hot we've been in the NBA. 17-4 and four last 21. Six-unit play going on Friday's card. It's an underdog. And then the three-play trifecta in baseball, three sides. Uh, in fact, we've got day and night action going in that three-play report, so go grab that on Friday morning. That's going to do it for Friday's report. Listen, if you like these videos, be sure to click on that thumbs-up button. Be sure to subscribe. Appreciate those who have done so thus far. I'll be right back here Saturday morning, 4 a.m. Eastern, 1 a.m. Pacific. We'll have an update on the Final Four, talk a little baseball and NBA at that time, along with NASCAR. So, uh, come back for that 4 a.m. Saturday Eastern time. All right, let's put Friday in the win column. I'm Scott Spritzer, DocSports.com.